attack. We're on the move. This isn't good. They're so fast. I hope we can make it in time. isn't it? The five behind you? Plus the two you're holding? <laughs> that adds up to all seven! Yeah, and you're not getting your purple hands on them! Fine. We'll just have to take them from you then. Guldo! Sir! <laughs> How did he? <sighs> Damn it! So that tubby four-eyed freak actually does have the ability to stop time. Not good. And that's all seven of them. All that's left is to finish you guys off. Vegeta. Your suffering will be handled by me, personally! Hey, not so fast, Captain! You got to have all the fun last time! Yeah, that's right! Ugh. I suppose you're right! Fine! Raccoon, you take Vegeta! Guldo, you take the two kids! This should be interesting! Aren't I a great captain?! In the meantime, I'll deliver the Dragon Balls to Lord Frieza. And then he will finally be able to attain immortality! <laughs> so, Guldo, why don't you finish those pipsqueaks off first, huh? <laughs> this isn't fair! I'm gonna be done with this in no time! All right, here goes nothing. Release your power! There's more to you crunch than I thought! Lord, let's make this quick! <laughs> 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 Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Ginyu's gonna have to come up with a new pose that the four of us can do. We did it! Yeah, if we can keep this up until Goku gets here, we should be okay. You two really are off on your own little world, aren't you? Guldo was nothing. He's the weakest of the bunch. The real suffering truly starts now. 
All right, Vegeta. Now, it's our turn to play. <laughs> you kids can play too if you want. <laughs> Heck, I'll play with all of you. Ooh, look at you, Vegeta. Boy, you're a lot tougher than you were before. Magnificent Captain Ginyu. I must admit, I'm impressed you were able to gather all seven Dragon Balls so quickly. There's no higher honor than such praise from you, Lord Frieza. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is finally time to turn my dream of immortality into a reality. Let's begin, shall we? Dragon Balls! I command you to grant me immortality and eternal youth! Are you... are you immortal now? Uh, no, I suspect not. Ah, yes. There must be some sort of incantation to activate them. Perhaps some sort of secret phrase that only the Namekians know. Seems I'll have to hunt down more of those worms. Oh? Look at that. I'm picking up three Namekian power signatures. It appears a few of them survived. Lord Frieza, if you would like, I can force the phrase out of them. No, I think I'll ask them myself. You'll do well to remember that I have experience dealing with these primitive creatures. Captain Ginyu, you stay here and keep watch over the Dragon Balls. Understood, Lord Frieza. I won't disappoint you. are nothing but a bunch of pushovers. Well, might as well put the three of you out of your misery. Huh? 
What was that? Where'd that spaceship come from? It's Goku. He, he finally made it. Attention. We have arrived on planet Namek. I gotta find those three fast! Please be alive, you guys. Please be safe. Goku's heroic arrival. Huh? Go on? And Krillin? They're in trouble! They're hanging on by a thread. They're really close. Right where those three huge powers are. <laughs> well, that wasn't much fun. Ah! Say goodbye! Kakarot, you finally show your face. Gohan, here you go. It's a sensu bean. Give some to the others, too. I'm gonna fight these guys on my own. Huh, you wanna fight me? What's a puny little guy like you gonna do? There's no way you can beat me! Yeah! Take this! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Hi, I think it's finally time to show you my best stuff. Raccoon! Ultra! Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. You, you, you. <laughs> Damn, how is this possible? He's already gone beyond a Saiyan power level, but how? <laughs> What kind of training has he put himself through to achieve this? Wait... What, are the stories more than legends? Could it possibly be? Is he the legendary Saiyan warrior that appears once every thousand years? Is he actually a Super Saiyan? What about you guys? You gonna go back to your own planet or what? Or do you want to end up like this guy over here? Whoa! You hear that, Bert, huh? This spiky head whip must be out of his mind! Yeah, he actually believes that he has the power to take down Raccoon. Oh, he just got lucky. Raccoon wasn't fighting at his best, that's all. Yeah, that was a fluke. I mean, his power level didn't even go over 5,000. Give me a break. Here we go! Yeah! So, you won't go back, huh? What the hell? I'm a Saiyan who was raised on Earth. So I'm told.
Ragnarok's rapidly increasing his power level at the exact moment he lands a strike. He... he must be trying to conserve his energy. That power spike is probably too quick for even their advanced scouters to detect. His power level is unbelievable. How can... where is all this power coming from? Do you understand now? Just give up already! And leave this planet! Uh, uh, this must be some sort of nightmare! How can we elite warriors be so sp -p powerless against this guy? Your naivete makes me sick! Why would you let them get away with that? You may have grown stronger, but that doesn't make you a Super Saiyan. Far from it! Super Saiyan? I can see that you're proud of how much you've increased your power, but that won't be nearly enough to defeat Frieza. Frieza, huh? That's the guy King Kai told me about. Wait, so even after all the training I did, you're saying I'm still not strong enough to beat him? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Frieza possesses more power than you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah, maybe you're wrong. I mean, you saw what Goku can do, right? I mean, those guys couldn't even lay a finger on him. Goku is unstoppable. Then fight him and find out for yourself. But that's not all. Breeze has probably already used the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. No, I, I don't think he's done that yet. What? How would you know? Well, if it's like using the Dragon Balls on Earth, the sky should get really dark and Shinron appears. But it's been bright this whole time, which means he probably hasn't made his wish yet. Shen what? What the heck's a Shenron? You mean something comes out of the Dragon Balls? Oh yeah, that's right. He probably doesn't know how to summon Shenron. That means we still have a chance to make our wish. Hooray! <laughs> Appears we've got some company arriving. Looks like Jace has brought Captain Ginyu along with him. Wait, where's Frieza? I thought for sure he'd be back at his ship with the Dragon Balls that Captain Ginyu brought him. I'm sensing some massive energy over there. That's gotta be Frieza. Uh, over there? Oh, we're in big trouble now. That's where Guru is. Oh no, Frieza's probably going to force Guru to tell him how to make a wish with the Dragon Balls. Yeah, and once he's figured that out, he's going to kill Guru for sure. He doesn't know that he won't be able to use the Dragon Balls if Guru dies. What? That settles it. Krillin and Gohan, you two get the Dragon Balls. Me and Vegeta will go stop Frieza. Right. And if we don't hurry, Guru is done for! We have to find Bulma and get the Dragon Radar! Yeah, good idea. Good luck, guys, and be careful! Goku! Go get him! Come on, Vegeta, let's go! We're gonna go greet those Ginyu guys. Fine! You're probably a lot stronger now that you've recovered from a near-death experience. <laughs> so you know about that, huh? 